All right, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the first video in the series of starting to learn guitar. So it's, we're gonna basically go through the first song of the ones that I usually teach within the first several months of starting guitar. And it'll help out building a foundation for some later songs that we can cover then. But let's go ahead and start with the first song. So if you have a capo, I like to, I like to play with a capo for beginners just because it'll help, um, help be a starter for stretching out the fingers. Um, the frets, as you can see, as you get higher in the fingerboard and the fretboard, then you can tell that the frets, the metal things right here are closer together. So the higher you have it, the easier it'll be to play. The lower you have it, the more you're gonna have to stretch out. So let's go ahead and put your um, let's go ahead and put your capo on the second fret. So one, two, second fret, as you can see there. So what we're gonna do is I'll play it for you. I'll play it how it's supposed to sound, and then we'll do a step-by-step -step process for that song. All right, let's do it. Alright, let's go ahead and start next with the step-by-step -step process for that song. Alrighty. Oh, and remember, you can pause the video at any time and focus on one chord at a time. So if you're having problems with a section, just pause the video. Everybody does it. I do it on YouTube all the time when I'm trying to work up some weird song. But just pause the video and then uh, just focus on that section at a time. So that is the first song for the series of songs that we're going to be going over. And it's very important that you get that song. So just because it's slow might seem unimportant, but act it actually is very important. Just remember, keep the capo on the second fret. It'll help out um, with a lot if you have one. If you don't order one, easy fix. Um, but uh, one easy way to do it is to remember that one section at a time is very important. So for all of your practice for all of these songs, then the best way to do it is to practice one section at a time and then add sections onto section. So it'll sound something like this. say four chords would be a section and then later after you get that down smooth then you can start on the next section so that would be the next section and then you could start on the next section um, which would be you know as, as the video explains um, but just focusing on sections at a time is very important. That'll help. That'll go a long way. Which, um, which you know, the further we can go, the better. But uh, yeah. So have fun with that, and we'll see you in the next.